Once you've reached the Dark Zone in The Division 2, you'll need to know what it means to deal with enemy rogue agents or even become one yourself. The rogue progression in The Division 2 can be split into three different statuses. Rogue, Disavow, and Manhunt. To identify each of these different statuses, rogues will show a white skull icon, red is for disavowed, and yellow for manhunt. The rogue status that is represented by a white icon is new to the Division 2 and focuses on actions like stealing other players' loot, hijacking supply drops, and cutting the rope of other agents' extractions. Doing any of these will put you into rogue status. You'll then want to gain access to the Thieves' Den, a hidden instance that is only discoverable by agents in this specific rogue status. Perform enough of these rogue actions and you'll be able to find the location of the Thieves' Den. The Disavowed status is reached by killing other agents, and the level of this status is raised with each kill until you reach Manhunt status. Players that manage to take out a Disavowed agent will be handsomely rewarded though, so watch your back. Then, once you reach Manhunt status, your goal is to clear yourself at a terminal. These random terminals will show on the map. The next choice you're going to have to make is whether or not you want to increase your manhunt status or cash out at the first available terminal. For the ultimate reward, you'll need to risk it all while other players in the vicinity will be able to see the location of the final terminal. Going rogue in The Division 2 isn't for the faint of heart, but can be one of the most intense and rewarding experiences in the game. Make sure you watch your six though. There are agents out there that are ready to claim their own reward for taking you out.